Hi, welcome to GearWire.com. We're taking a look at the Behringer VD1 distortion sustainer. It's a vintage distortion. Uh, it's pretty new from Behringer. Let's take a look at it. it. Comes in a plastic case. Instructions are on the back of this removable cardboard panel. Pretty self explanatory. All right. Hi, and welcome to GearWire.com. We're taking a look at the Boss AC2 acoustic simulator. It's a kind of a total tonal shaping pedal that a lot of guitarists use on stage or in the studio before other pedals to give them different sorts of tonal options. So let's take a look at it. All right. Underneath the pedal, we got the documentation. Um, here we have the standard uh, safety maintenance sort of. Uh, documentation and here we have the manual it's a pretty thick manual outlines a lot of the possibilities for it features also has a copy of the maintenance and safety describes all the knobs different setups you can use for it and also some precautionary just a repeat of what's in the yellow pamphlet let's take a look at the pedal Right. And Hi, welcome to GearWire. We're taking a look at the Boss CS3 compression sustainer. Um, let's take a look at what's in the box. All right, we get the Boss product line, it's catalog, uh, the product registration, has the postage paid on there. Um, we got the safety instructions, comes with every Boss pedal, maintenance. And here we have the instructions. Now, compressor, compressor sustainer actually works by limiting the amount of dynamics. Uh, so basically you get a, f a few different controls that, that help you do that. Sustain knob, attack knob, all have various parameters that they control. You've got different setups that you can do, use, and then also some presets that you can try out. And these actually look like uh, they're there so that you can write them in and uh, for future use. Let's take a look at the pedal. All right. Hi, welcome to GearWire.com. We're taking a look at the Boss DD3 Digital Delay. Let's take a look what's in the box. Okay, we got the Boss product lineup from 2004. Registration to send in, postage, pay, postage paid, standard uh, safety and uh, maintenance notes, and of course the manual. This is a much smaller manual than the DD6, only about four or five pages uh, fold out, and basically just outline setup, knobs, all that sort of thing. Right, let's take the pedal out of the box. Hi, welcome to GearWire.com. We're taking a look at the Boss DD6 digital, digital delay. And this is uh, basically their digital delay, or like the, their DD3, uh, with a lot more options on it, longer delay time as well. So let's take a look inside the box. Okay, we got their standard uh, safety literature and how to use maintenance, good information. Their catalog uh, covers most of their product line from 2004. This is the registration card to mail that in for the warranty. It covers the postage, of course. And the manual. As you can see, this is a pretty thick manual. There are a lot of options in, in this pedal. Um, they make it easy, a little easier by putting these little stickers on the front, outlining all the modes. Because there are quite a few. And then also different ways you can hook up the pedal. Uh, the routing changes depending on which inputs you're plugged into and which outputs you're plugged into. So let's take a look at the pedal. All 
All right. Hi, welcome to GearWire.com. We're taking a look at the Boss DS1 Distortion. It's one of the most popular distortion pedals, in fact, one of the most popular pedals uh, available right now. So let's take a look at it. All right, inside the box, of course, we have uh, standard safety and uh, instructions that come with all the Boss pedals. Product registration, send it in for warranty information, postage paid. We got the Boss catalog, 2004, and also the all important manual, which covers basically the instructions that came with the safety, uh, different features, different setups, what all the knobs do, and also different settings that you might want to try out. All right, let's take a look at the pedal. It's a standard Boss single pedal, and um, right under. Hi, and welcome to GearWire.com. Today we're taking a look at the Boss GE7 equalizer. It's a graphic e equalizer uh, used to basically get different tonal colors out of your instrument. Let's take a look at it. All right, inside the box, we have uh, important notes: uh, safety, maintenance comes with every boss pedal. Uh, we also have their uh, catalog. The, the 2005 lineup is with this pedal. Um, product registration, their postage is paid. And of course the all-important manual. This one folds out like this. Basically just tell you how to connect it up different settings you can use and also where the battery would go that's uh, over here alright let's take a look at the pedal alright this is a seven hi and welcome to gearwire.com we're taking a look at the boss MT2 metal zone pedal Let's take a look in the box. All right. Of course, we get the product registration. Mail this in for warranty. Product lineup. This catalog is from 2004. Safety instructions, as well as maintenance. And, of course, the all-important instruction bo booklet. This one's a fold-out. So we got uh, various setups, or just a setup that you can use, um, specifications, explanation of controls, a few different settings that you might like to try, and also instructions on how to replace the battery. Let's take a look at the pedal.